not that. I just looked it up, pulled it up. That's called biomechanics. It's biomechanics. 2,000 of a second response stimulus, 1,000 of a second for me to initiate action. There's no way he's going to save himself. That's not even me being slick where I shoot through the pocket or anything. That's just me pulling the gun out and shooting. So when police officers, you see these videos where police officers are telling people to put the gun down and the guy pulls the gun up and still shoots the officer, and they're like, wow, the officer didn't shoot. He couldn't <laughs> shoot. If the brain had to wait for the neural signal to go from what they saw to tell their trigger to pull, that's two thousandths of a second. You can't lift weights and change that. You have the initiative. Yes, and, and you make your, he doesn't want to be a killer. He's not going to just kill someone just because right. they're there. So he's going to see if I'm complying, right? Mm -hmm. So same thing. This time, don't let me shoot you. <laughs> Don't move. Okay. Say, say, uh, say, show me your hands. Show me your hands. <laughs> We're pretty much tying on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Show me your hands. Uh, I got you first on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely would have nailed you to the bottom. Show me your hands. Yeah. Oh, and that's the problem. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. I did exactly what he said, and I got shot. Yep. I said I did it at exactly the same gate, gotcha. right? Yep. So the key is this. Put the gun behind your back, sir. Do not move. Do not move. Do not move. Now, let's say he's going to move anyway, and he's going to shoot me as I approach. Do not move. Do not move. One shot went into me. I am now shooting. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. I have just increased my likelihood of survivability by taking one bullet while delivering multiple to the aggressor. Now, what's really going to happen nine times out of ten, because I took the ground psychologically, I put him in shock. And because I gave him an out from violence, unless he's insane, he is going to go with the, which is fine, insane. but what he's going to do is he's going to, this is what nine times out of ten, what humans are going to do. They're looking for a way, especially predators, predators don't want to be prey. So they find a way out of predation, predation situations. And the way you know that is, nine out of ten police officers have arrested someone with a gun who was going to go to prison and they knew it and still didn't shoot, try to shoot the police officer. So what was the gun for? It was for women, children, and old people. They use the guns, they don't use them on cops. That's why police officers, you get there, the guy's like, oh, going to jail. <laughs> One police officer I trained, he's a sergeant, thank you, sir. The sergeant is, is, uh, the sergeant is this, this tall. <laughs> and uh, he has been, he's been training with me since he was a, uh, um, a recruit. He's got a great reputation for having skills. Um, he's also on our website multiple times talking about how he didn't shoot people when, uh, well, in one case he was in a shootout and he won. In the other situation, uh, he was in a situation where the guy was, was going to shoot uh, and he was on a raid team and he didn't shoot the person because he felt like um, the person should not be shot based on what he was reading. So we can teach you how to read body language, recognize evasive, aggressive, deceptive behavior. The 80-year-old man could not listen to the directives that were being yelled at him by the men at 3 o'clock in the morning entering the wrong house because the 80-year-old man lost his hearing in Vietnam. So luckily he, didn't, he was freaking out and loaded the gun wrong and my, my, the guy I trained went over grabbed the gun and disarmed him without hurting the man and then at the end said, you know, why did this happen? You know, why didn't you just put the gun down? He goes, I, all I see is you guys dressing all black. You're screaming, yelling, I can't even hear anything, make out any of these words. I'm 80 years old, 80 something years old. He said that, he said, if I would know your police, of course I would have picked up the gun. And uh, the other team members, um, the police officers, did not agree with his assessment. And they ridiculed him. So he quit that, that, uh, that task force, which I'm very proud of, that he put the integrity to protection of the public before that, uh, before that unit. And that just shows you that there, there are really good officers out here that want to support, that need the training, that will do the right thing, and we need to have a mechanism for that. And that's what this training system's for. Civilians and law enforcement to create safety together because it really, really both parties have to be on the same page. You will accidentally shoot officers or they'll accidentally shoot you without proper training. One of the things we teach when you are with your weapon and you're checking your home or your business, uh, your weapon is under here. My muscle's still clear, but if somebody's looking, they can't say that they feel fear because they can't even see my weapon as I'm walking forward. And from here, if I did encounter the police or the homeowner, I tuck the weapon and my hands are here. And now I say, sir, ma'am, I'm, I'm armed. My weapon is under my left arm. I'm security. I'm at your home. I'm at your business. I'm clearing it. You didn't know who I was, but now you do. And you know that I'm not, I don't have a gun on my hand. So I've increased the likelihood of us not having a uh, accidental force on force engagement.